CTV News at 5 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. If you don't uh, usually look both ways before you cross the street, now would be a good time to start. In the last 48 hours, at least three people have been hit by vehicles in Greater Victoria. Some of the pedestrians were in crosswalks, some were not. But police at the scene say it really doesn't matter because the result is usually the same. CTV's Joe Perkins has the story. Another ambulance pulls away from a Greater Victoria intersection. Inside, an unconscious 83-year-old man who was hit by a car while trying to cross Burnside Road this morning. At this time, it appears that the pedestrian walked into the side of the blue Volvo. Less than 100 meters from the collision is a crosswalk that police say the man should have used. But recently, the marked walkways haven't been much help. Just last night, a 73-year-old woman was hit in a crosswalk on Government Street and thrown several meters. A day before that, 56-year-old Alan Clemens was hit crossing Fort at Douglas. Where did he hit you? On the side. And then he fled? Yep. Police are investigating all three incidents, but say they're puzzled. We don't know. These two last collisions that happened uh, back on Wednesday and then yesterday on Thursday uh, happened in the middle of the day, broad daylight, clear days. Uh, where two pedestrians are struck in two marked crosswalks. So certainly we're wondering to ourselves exactly what's going on here. Spend a few minutes at any busy intersection and chances are you'll see what has police so confused. So what just happened there? Uh, he, he drove through the red light and people were in the, interse in the crosswalk. Moments later, another infraction. This time a black SUV rolls by a pedestrian crossing 4th Street. What just happened there? Well, I decided to cross the road and I guess the car was parked and the one in the other lane didn't see me. And it's not just busy streets. The bad habits are working their way into school zones. We've had a couple of close, uh, close calls. We've sent uh, a message home in our newsletter uh, that parents uh, talk to their children about crossing uh, over here at, uh, at Lockside and, uh, and Royal Oak. Despite a winter-long campaign aimed at improving crosswalk safety, Victoria police say the number of pedestrian-related collisions appears to be rising, and they don't know why. See, not even stopping for a police officer and a civilian in a marked crosswalk, right? So, so that's a fine. That's $196, I would write that ticket in a second. And while pedestrians are quick to point fingers... People don't know how to drive anymore. Police say drivers and pedestrians need to work together. When it comes to safety, it's a two-way street. CTV's Joe Perkins joins us now live with more. Joe, uh, police are going to be keeping a close eye on crosswalks for the next while. And as we saw in your report, there are hefty fines uh, for drivers and for pedestrians. There are, Hudson. Uh, these are two of the busiest intersections or crosswalks, I should say, on Pandora Street. Uh, people are following, at least tonight. Uh, they are stopping for people and people walking across the street. Fines $167 for any car that doesn't stop at a crosswalk when there's someone waiting to walk across the street. It's $86 for anyone jaywalking. If you don't see police issuing jaywalking tickets, they say they do issue them and they're going to keep an eye on it. And, and one more thing police want to remind people, pedestrians don't have the right of way. It's only when they're at a crosswalk that they do have the right of way. And the message of, a cor of course is uh, to drivers and pedestrians, everyone has to be careful. Well, you know, where you are, Joe, uh, right outside our studios uh, on Pandora Avenue is one of those double crosswalk situations on Broad. There's right. another one down at the other end of the street, and you got to be especially careful, especially if you've stopped uh, or you're in the second one yeah. and the drivers don't see you. Well, you see, uh, cars are stopping, especially this time of the night. Uh, these are busy, busy crosswalks, but we've been out here for about 20 minutes, Hudson, and I haven't seen any incidents. They're stopping for pedestrians. Cyclists are stopping as well. That's another one. Cyclists are just like vehicles. They need to stop as well. All right, Joe Perkins reporting. Joe, thanks. You're welcome.